Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing fine. When you think of tabular data, the first thing that will come to your mind is MySQL databases. As awesome as MySQL databases are, it can sometimes turn out to be a pain to query a MySQL database and generate insights from it. It is here you require natural language processing to query your table and extract out insights. which is where you can utilize the table question answering pipeline from hugging face so without wasting any further time let me kick start the video hey a sub to the channel would be really motivating the video won't be very long i'll try to keep it as short as possible so let me kick start the activity by installing the transformers module So the way I would install transformers is pip install transformers. I'm using a specific version of transformers that is 4.4.2. Why am I using it? Well, all of that would be clear in the next few steps. Now that we have successfully installed transformers let me go forward and show you the torch version So as you can clearly see the torch version is 1.8.0 plus CU101 In order to use the amazing table question answering pipeline by hugging face you would require a package called as torch hyphen scatter so in the next step i'll basically install torch scatter and i'll also specify the torch version for which i want to install torch hyphen scatter now that all the installations are in place let me go forward and import pipeline from transformers and also import pandas as pd So let me go forward and run this cell. Now, the next thing that I do is I create an instance of the class pipeline. I pass in the task as table hyphen question hyphen answering and I also specify the model. So once I've specified everything, I save the entire pipeline instance into a variable called as tqa. So let me go forward and execute this cell. Our installation is done and dusted. We have set up the pipeline. We have also downloaded all the pre-trained models that are required for this task. The next thing that I'll do is I'll read a CSV file called as data dot CSV into a data frame called as table. Now let me go forward and convert all my columns in the data frame into string type and save it into the original data frame variable that is table. So let me go forward and execute this cell. Now before I show you the magic, I want to first show you the content of this table. So let me go forward and show the content. So this table contains the top 10 run scorers in one day international cricket. So you have Sachin Tendulkar, Kumar Sangakkara, Sanat Jaisuria and so on and so forth. Now is the time that I'll show you magic. Now imagine writing a SQL query wherein you had to write a command to discover the person who had scored the maximum runs. Rather than doing that, I will just enter a simple natural language query who has scored the highest runs. And I will call the pipeline that I created. I will pass in the table and I'll pass in the query. that's all that is required from me so let me go forward and run this cell so as you can clearly see the answer is sachin tendulkar the good part about using this pipeline is that if you want to retain context when you are asking multiple questions even that is possible let me show you how so if i have two questions in my mind the first question is what is virat kohli's highest score 
and which team does he play for so essentially i have two questions both of them are contained in a list so now if i query the pipeline with the particular query and table let us see what results we generate so let me go forward and run this cell so as you can clearly see it says that the first answer is 183 and the second answer is india so let us go up and validate if the results are correct or not. I am highlighting the row for Virat Kohli. His highest score was 183. And obviously he played for India. So both the results are correct. And the pipeline was smart enough to understand context as well. Well, this is all that I had in today's video. I wanted to show you the power of Hugging Faces table question answering pipeline. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like the content that I post on my channel, it would be super motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos that I create on data science and machine learning. Thank you so much for watching this video.